Welcome back everybody to Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Let's go over to Predlets. Let's see what kind of missions await us over there for House Krita. Here we go. Travel has been just started here. And we just paid 1.1 million in sea bills just for maintenance. Ouchie. This is starting to get very expensive to have this kind of insane collection of mechs, but we're not done yet. I need more and bigger annihilators. Okay, let's see. We have one contract here. Which is a war zone for House Kurita, but there's also a quest. I'm gonna check that quest. It's called Charity Case. A humanitarian mission that gives us 4.5k reputation. Uh, we have to raid pirate bases. Okay. Alright. Well then, let's give it a try. Where is the first of these missions? Oh, it's actually right here, and then over there. So, raids it is. For raids, we need to be careful. We need to know that whenever we destroy the objective, bad things happen. Intersystem advocacy. Okay, we don't have much reputation with them, so let's get some, some salvage, some damage coverage, some cash. Accept. We're only going up against bandits, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, how are we doing on the Anaid? 40 days. Okay, now nah, we won't. We will have the Anaid next next mission, I would say. Because uh, it's going to take a lot of time to refit here. Instead, let's get this beautiful atlas in here. This is the least beautiful atlas. That's a better atlas. Okay. Just looking at the weapon quality levels. Just making sure that we have the right pilots with the right weapons. Uh, that awesome can go away. And we can switch on over and back to our friendly, friendly atlas. Uh, this one. Okay. Good pilots. Good mechs. TTB has got his trusty laser drill annihilator. Let's go. Let's do some raiding. I'm raiding in Tarkov. I'm raiding in World of Warcraft. Now I'm raiding in Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. It seems like I'm a raider. TTB is a raider. TTB is Teutonic Terrors. Aha. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Coffee online. All systems nominal. We need to zero in on the location of the aid workers. And oh. to do that, okay. intersystem advocacy has to intercept wow. the bandits' comm systems. That is Increase quite some stuff here. Including an onion. Alright. While the bandits are disorganized, get around the corner here and start shooting this dude. As soon as I can see him. Burn! I gotta tell you guys, having this kind of pinpoint firepower is so nice. So this is gonna be a long mission, guys. I hope you uh, brought some coffee or something. Got some, some chips or maybe some popcorn because this is going to be a long one. We have to go all the way and I'm gonna go counterclockwise. I'm going to go anti-MWO style. At least that's my plan. We'll see how it goes. I've also seen that the mech speed mod has been fixed, but uh, I don't want to see my Annihilator run like 70 kph, that's just a little bit ridiculous. I'd be happy if that thing ran 48. Also J. Edgar. <laughs> bye bye! <sighs> so, um, I don't remember exactly who, who gave me that idea, but one of you guys said, TTB, you need to give your atlases LRMs instead of SRMs. And oh boy, right choice, right choice. These smaller targets that are far away easily get killed. That is something bigger, that's a scorpion. And it's gone. That's an LRM carrier or something. LRM 20, okay, it's gone. SRM 20, we take that out. There's the LRM carrier again. Ah, it's a little bit too far away, but it's okay, lasers. I'm going to solve that. There's also an enemy awesome in here, and it's a triple PPC awesome. Luckily, we can hit him, and he can't hit us. Well, so much for that. <laughs> I thought I thought he was not able to hit us due to his hard points, but uh, little did I know he actually could hit us. So, looks like pride cometh before the fall. Also, let's hold on for a second here. Did we kill the target already? Okay, it's killed. It's important to know. So there should be enemies coming in now. Very soon. Oh, that was a bad shot. Was able to save it though. Now these VTOLs, by the way guys, if you shoot the engines, they're going to take much more damage, as I've been told. And as shown right here, 
Just shoot the big vertical things on the on the wings. All right. So first area is passive fight. Hello there. I knew there was a lance coming in. That's a little bit more than one lance though. It's an atlas coming in here. I'm gonna work on the griffins though. Ouch! Something shooting me in the back. Okay, that griffin is done. I have no idea what that was, but it did some damage. Oh, and that's a burst fire. AC 20. Let's go for straight for his CT. Try to burn through that and that should be a kill. Yep. Okay. So much for that. Uh, it's a scorpion-like tank behind us, but luckily our AI mates already have our back. This is beautiful. Yep, this is beautiful. So you definitely want to give your atlases Lerm 30. Absolutely. Beautiful. Took a shot to the back, and I need to be careful about my my side torso here. I should be fine though. It's still relatively fine. Right side torso took a little bit of damage. It's nice that we have HTAL. That's a tank shooting from somewhere. Okay, another tank. Just a turret. Okie dokie. Um, that's quite a bit of damage that we did around here. That's uh, two assault mechs down, uh, a heavy mech down, and a medium mech down, plus a couple of tanks and a couple of turrets. And uh, we're only 25% done. But luckily there should not be any more insane drops coming in here. This never gets old. Major Hawking, AC-20 to the turret. It never gets old. I agree. AC-20 is a fun weapon. Actually, Peters actually took the most damage here. What, what did happen to Peters here? Our... Backline. Ah, oh, not that much. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Whoa, stalker. Alright. It's not even a base that we need to destroy, but we have to deal with this guy. So, deal with him we shall. He's got the LRM tents, nothing too crazy, but I just want to start melting him. The large lasers will do that beautifully, and I think we should be almost in range for the mediums. Not quite, but almost. Ah, he's running away. Never mind that. Let's get this side torso. Or life. It's actually funny, like, if you have three Atlas, you literally have LRM 90. And the big supply of that as well. Oh, holy shit. We need help. That is a Victor. He's going for my Atlas, buddy. And he's getting hammered. Dang it. Let's get in there. Start doing some damage. Okay, we got the side torso of that little stalker here, hopefully. Come on, give me that side torso. There we go. Now we go for the victor. Oh, Holmes, what are you doing? Uh, let's go for the stalker next. Bye bye. Okay, let's check what happened with Holmes. You lost your arm, right? Yeah. No, arm is okay. But um, still, the reason why Holmes lost the arm is very simple. Bad positioning. Left the formation eh? and then YOLO'd solo against three or four targets. Target. Not a good choice. One more to my kill count. Not a good choice, but it's okay. We can still take some more damage on this guy. Target. Just need to keep it in check a little bit. Ouch! Helicopters. Oh, one helicopter and one bigger guy, but he's dead already. Let's get this guy. Alright. Two more targets remain. I get the feeling why this is supposed to be like a 95 difficulty mission. There's quite some stuff here. And you gotta be very careful on how you move your max. Who's... Oh, these guys are actually shooting the objective right now with their lerms. Look at this. Oh, they have the weapon and they just, just shoot this. Interesting. I wonder if they can kill it or if they're just spending their ammo right now. Target acquired. I can't really mark it, unfortunately. So they, they know more than I do. There's an enemy harasser coming in. There's the target. Good work, Commander. That's one less target. All right. 
One location remains. Let's get this turret before it starts Destroy. shooting us in the back. And, uh, guys, Go follow on me. Whoa, hello. Took one down. Thank you. Lump carrier, stalker. I'll deal with the lump carriers first. I'm not gonna start charging in here. Instead, we just use our range to our advantage. Um, says that and gets shot by some stuff. Dude, you're annoying. Okay. He said as well. Gotta be careful here. Now, everybody, please murder that stalker. <laughs> Let's fly the lurms! Ah, he's a cover, unfortunately. There should be more lurms. Maybe these guys went out of ammo or something. Wouldn't be entirely strange. Ah, uh, one more. Ah, he's dead. He is also dead. Scratch that target off the list. Rip. Good work. Time to go to the pickup like zone. Has to crack the communication network. Our pickup station is where exactly? There. Target destroyed. Okay. Well, at least we don't have to go far. Everything's fine. Everything's peachy, everything's hunky dory. Please, no random drops from behind now. Up, oh, random helicopters from behind. Okay. My spider sense was tingling. Was tingling oh so much. The mouse almost back. Oh, also, targets. That's my dropship, right? I hope that's Rihanna. Oh yeah, that's Rihanna. Alright. We're good, boys. Enemy destroyed. Beautiful thing about the Gnabator. Doesn't care about walls or anything. Just walks through. Literally, the name tells the whole story of this mech. Denihilates. This is beautiful. Easily one of my favorite mechs in the game. In all of Battletech. Next to the Fafnir. The Annihilator. The Atlas. And other good things like the Banshee. And the Battlemaster. Maybe the Kodiak. Hmm. So many good fun mechs to play. So many good fun mechs to play. Well then. 2.3 million C-bills, 1.5k reputation. A nice medium laser that we get, another nice medium laser, and another nice medium laser, and another nice medium laser, and I sound like a broken record, but one or more, and well. SRM2s, single heat sinks, okay. I've got two more ready and I'm going to claim the LRM10, sure why not. Damage taken is almost damage covered, so we're perfect here. All good. No skill ups. Oh, we lost an arm here, but everything is fine otherwise. Not a problem. Alright, let's go ahead and repair up. Uh huh. That one needs another arm, I think. Yep. Repair. And another medium laser. Bada bim, bada boom. How many LRMs do we have right now? Two tons of LRM. Well, that should be fine. 58 days, holy hell. Okay. Now we have to travel. And we're traveling over to Pulse Nigo. Alright. Let's go there. Do some more raiding. It'll be interesting to see if we get some nice Kurita reputation here. Maybe... Oh, there's a contract available as well. Oh, of course, it's my contract. Never mind. It's my charity case contract. Uh, 22 salvage shares. Okay, we can do that. Still have to wait until our mechs are ready. Ouchie, bills have been paid. Well then. Also, the Annihilator would be ready. 
So we could we could field the Annihilator now and see how it goes. Who's got the best skill here for lasers? You, Major Peters. Okay. Major Peters, you will be in the Annihilator. Let's see what the AI does with my Annihilator. Let's see if the AI can be as useful as I am. Do we have any more mechs in our inventory that we can, can kind of sell? I don't think so, right? King Crab and a Marauder, yeah? Okay. Alright then. Let's get this contract going. Ready up. Do some killing. It's going to be interesting to see whether it's better to have the Atlas on the AI or the Annihilator. I'm thinking it's gonna be the Atlas. Oh, we're loading right into the enemy. Reactor online. Sensors online. Get ready, boys. Online. It's time for some killing. Phenomenal. The bandits have a command center up ahead. Head out and destroy the base. Doing so should hopefully expose some sign of the missing volunteers. Okay. Never mind then. Uh, we are going to walk up this hillside here go to the lowermost point and then make our way to the north and then to the east. At least that is my plan right now. So many trees. Can't see. So, we do something against it. Better. GGB, no! What are you doing? Global warming, of course. <laughs> I see one problem right away. I think I should have put the Annihilator into a, a different lance mate. So he's actually further up front. Because this far right now, he's just gonna be hanging back like crazy. We'll see how that goes. I don't have high hopes for that. The range is going to be ouch! An issue. What the hell? Just got shot by a random Manticore. That was a PPC round to my uh, arm here. That was unfriendly. This target definitely was not friendly. Alright, we're coming up on the first target. Need to veer off slightly to the north. Still lots of trees. Yeah, the AI doesn't seem to have the problem of not being able to see stuff, Luturis and stuff. Because they got aimbots. I don't. Can we see that target that we need to kill here? Oh, it's already been killed. Nope, not yet. Alright. Acquired. More incoming. Whoa! Stalker incoming. And I think I didn't hit him properly. That's okay, we've got other rooms. A little bit reduced in firepower, but that's okay. Let's just assume he's there in range. Yeah, we took away his side torso. Now we just keep burning him. Up until he dies. Ah, one more. Maybe two more. Alright, there's Harris are here. It's Destroy. annoying us. There's a target behind us. I kinda wanna take out this stalker though. Target yep. Target Target Got it. It's a target to our left, target to our right. Down. It's a partisan heavy tank. Okay. That is not a joke. I can't tell where it is right now. I have to turn and engage this guy. Yeah. Alright. I'm still getting shot here from the side. Also, helicopters, and we do have a, a mech over there, right? I think there was a mech or something. I can't tell. 
They still don't know if their part is in the still alive or not. So. Oh well. Um, it's a scorpion over there, alright. That's the building we need to kill, I think. Yep. There should be a drop coming in now. Right on top of us. Alright. Lass uns mal die Reifen heizen und nicht mit Feuer geizen. Victor and Atlas. Victor's almost dead. Okay, got the Victor. Now we go for the Scorpion. And the other Scorpion. And hopefully my guys will start doing something about the Atlas here. Because I'm taking quite a bit of damage here to my legs. Holy shit. So much bullshit coming in here. Wow. Still more stuff around here. Fuck, I lost my arm. Everything on the left arm, of course. And the legs. Well then, got half a mech now. That was a costly loss. Alright. I wonder what this annihilator is doing. Oh well. So we got one target down, we need to destroy two more. My firepower has been reduced to less than a Black Knight now. Not good. Absolutely not good. Once again, the AI demonstrates their insane skills at shooting off arms for no reason. So the partisan was still alive. What's a different new partisan? I can't tell. Nope, they were just waiting there. Alright. Okay, one more target left alive. That's what the guys over there up front. Elo coming in. Gotta be mindful that I don't have the same firepower as before. Should be enough still though to kill the Hilo. Yes, okay. Wow, I took all of that fire. My lance mates are all okay. That's unfortunate. I should have fallen back a little bit. We have left the Atlases to deal with the damage, deal with the fire. Also, again, Vitol. Igor's. Okay, he's down. Whoa! Banshee coming in. The guys deal with the Banshee. Okay, it's a crap Banshee. We're good. Hello, I'm 40 carrier. I don't think so. Okay, now we got a dragon coming in. Gonna deal with the smaller stuff here. As much as that's possible. Jet gonna scorpion tank here. Ah, I can't hit him from here. He's gonna shoot my guys in the back if I don't. Take him down quickly, so everybody still go for the dragon. We go for the dragon, I go for the tanks. SRM carrier. J. Edgar here. Is that the building we need to kill? No. Hey, guys, I gave you a target to kill. Why is it still alive? I gave you a clear kill command. Time to go back. There's one hero who really wants to know it. And the answer is he doesn't. Okay, so that is about... 2 million in damage. It's not about the Seabills, it's about the uh, 
large laser that we lost. But we knew that going in. We knew that there was a risk with those um, arm-mounted weapons. But fortunately, they were able to take off my left arm. And uh, it just goes to show you, you need to let the AI take the point, and you should be in the slowest mech, not the AI. I'm, I don't have high hopes for our Annihilator. I think he's gonna have terrible damage. And I'm going to be very sad. I never ever will ever give a AI player an Annihilator again. We'll see. But now let's just limp back home. Ah, poor arms. If only you could, if only you could, you could salvage those lasers, that would be nice. This is not raining. Okay, so I hope you guys are I hope having your tally books open. You guys probably started guessing already at the damage done by the team. Um, what can we claim here? Oh, this is all crap. Okay, let's get the LRM-10 here. All these weapons are really bad. Like, there's nothing in here that would be of any use whatsoever. Wow. Alright then. Let's just grab whatever costs the most, I guess. 2.4 million in salvage. 1.4 million in damage taken. Yes. Ouch. Big ouch. So the United did 500 damage, which is, which is half of what the Atlases did. And that's due to A, speed, and B, um, not having um, LRM access. So, I'm gonna keep the lance like this. Now we repair, and uh, repair. Must be a part 2 for charity case, probably. So, the bandits did not capture the aid workers, but somebody else did. And who is that? It's a secret on the planet. Biological, chemical, and nuclear weapons of mass destruction. And the civilians discover the cache of these uh, weapons and are threatening to use them against their EULAs unless all punitive measures are lifted on the planet's populace. Okay. Alright. Need to stop these guys. Destroy the fanatical settlement. Okay, we can do that. In Luzine, which is down here. Luzerne. Okay, that's fine. First, we have to go to Annihilator and be very, very sad because we lost this arm here. So, a couple of heat sinks, which is not a problem, and the lasers, which is a problem because I only have one more five star large laser. And afterwards, it's only three star. That is sad because there's, there's a difference here. It's a uh, 0.2 less damage per second, and the optimal range is 20 meters less. Max range, yeah, okay, if I shoot at 740 meters, we're good. How about the medium lasers? I think we have medium lasers still, though. Yep. Okay. Alright, then. Nope, no double heat sinks, just... Oops, wrong buttons were pressed. Stop that. Okay. What, 125 days? Are you high? Alright, um, let's see, is there anything near us we can use to repair up? Yeah, we can travel over there to Herndon, which takes us 48 days back and forth. Or we can go to Stanzach, which takes us also 48 days back and forth. So, regardless of what we do, back and forth is gonna be 100 days. Which is still less than... Yeah, yeah. But, but, but we're doing this because this is still less than what we would, would be doing if we just repaired the uh, Analyzer. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Well then, so... I think next steps are go ahead, repair the Analyzer, get everything ready again. Maybe find a good deal on the market. Hmm, could get an Atlas RS. Interesting. How about equipment? Any swap out for lasers? Nope. Oh well then. My Rx. combat skills are meant to impress, sir. Nope. No 60 pilots. So yeah, we'll have to think about that. And uh, that annihilator, I might, I might retire or just put it into cold storage, um, or have it ready as an uh, alternative if I do a multi-mission mission, where I have like three lances, no, three lances of four mechs. 
All the same. Anaya and lots of Atlas. <laughs> that would be fun, wouldn't it? Take care, guys.